The Jabalia refugee camp north of Gaza City is one of eight in the Gaza Strip, and today it took direct hits from Israeli rockets. Dozens of Palestinians have died in the strike. Some of the images are too graphic to show. Few escape the carnage. Palestinian anger is overwhelming, and there were immediate calls for revenge. Day three and Palestinians in Gaza sheltered as best they could as Israeli airstrikes blitzed offices and homes. Hundreds of Palestinians have died already. The death toll just keeps rising and there may be worse to come. And these are waves of Hamas rockets being fired into southern Israel overnight, most of them taken out by Israel's Iron Dome defense systems. But some Hamas rockets did get through, hitting the southern Israeli town of Ashkelon. Palestinians woke up to the familiar but still shocking sight of collapsed buildings, including a mosque which was levelled. The Israelis say they hit more than 500 targets in the Gaza Strip in overnight bombing. This Palestinian man said, dozens of rockets fell on people while they were sleeping. There was no alarm or anything like that, so we started running in the streets, he said. We weren't prepared as we were in our beds. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Iranian-backed militant Palestinian group Hamas has released a fresh video of its surprise assault on the Erez crossing, the main transit point between Israel and the Gaza Strip. Images like these have stunned Israelis who assumed the border was impregnable. How wrong they were. So many questions about how Hamas broke out of Gaza remain unanswered. Even today, Israel admits the breaches in the border have not yet been sealed. We need to go inside Gaza and destroy the Hamas and the Jihad. We need to kill all the leadership of uh, Hamas and Jihad. And we need to, if the country and the government need the time that we be inside our house and stay inside months, two months, until that the army do the job in Gaza and destroy the leadership of the Hamas and the Jihad, we give given the option. The UN Security Council met last night in New York without agreeing a statement. Regrettably, history for some media and politicians start when Israelis are killed. Our people have endured one deadly year after another. We came to the Security Council month after month warning of the consequences of Israeli impunity and international inaction. And so with no prospect of peace and a ground invasion of Gaza by Israel's military expected later this week, both the Palestinians and the Israelis brace themselves for more bloodshed to come. John Cookson, Arise News.